In addition to adding and removing objects within a component, you can also nest them inside of one another and swap them out for one another quite easily. If you're following along with me, well, you'll want to be in step three, nest and swap components within the practice file. You're going to also want to have the library panel open. I will go ahead and switch over to the library panel. I can do that by clicking here in the lower left hand corner, not on the layers icon, but the one just above it, which is the libraries icon. That's going to bring up that libraries panel and bring me into the document assets area. With that all set, I want to focus on the three artboards here in this section. So I will come in and select them and I'll bring them into view. So that I can see them a bit more clearly. Okay, in this step, we're going to do two things. One is I'm going to show you how you can nest component inside of one another. And then the second is we're going to swap some components out for one another after we've done that. I do want to say that I'm starting to assume you've got some pretty good skills from some of the other tutorials that we've done during this course. So I'm going to leverage some of those skills for things like repeat grid as we proceed in this step. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in even tighter so I can see what I got going on here. Up here towards the top, I have some examples of content. Three examples. If I press and drag across them, what you'll notice is they have a green highlight color here in this area. These are all converted to components. I did what uh, earlier when I prepared this file. To the, the right here, I have just a label chair. So it's just a text field. I've not converted that to anything. What I want to do is match the design I have here on the left. With this menu drawer example on the right. This is basically the menu we used earlier when we were showing how to use overlays. As I build this up, as I mentioned, I'm going to use a combination of capabilities. So when I nest components, I in essence put a component inside of a group. And then I save that group out as a component in its own right. So if I'm building out this menu here on the left, one way I can do that easily will be the nest components inside of one another. So what I'll do is come in and try to match this first example. Where I have a component to the left and a label to the right. 
I will come here in this first artboard and if you want to follow along with me you can do the same and I'm going to grab this chair component right here and I'm going to go ahead and hold down the shift key and then option on the Mac or alt on Windows I'm going to press and drag a copy of that chair here to the side. And I want to kind of get away from the word, the word chair. So I'll just duplicate it, that chair next to the label. Now I'm going to select the label and I will select the icon that I just duplicated. With the two objects selected in the Properties Inspector, in this upper layer area, I will go ahead and center them horizontally. Looks pretty good. I'll click off and I'm going to move chair over just a little bit more to the right. So I use the keyboard right arrow once I selected that to move it a few pixels over. I now have a component and a label and I like the way they look. What I want to do is convert them as a component so that I can reuse them as a set. For that, I will come in and select the two objects. I'm going to go ahead and group them. So if I right click here, I'm going to select group. And I'll go ahead and go into the Layers panel. So lower left corner, click on Layers panel. You can see it assigns a very random group name. I want to come in and overwrite that. So I'll double click on that default name. Let's try that one more time. Double click right on the name. And I'm going to call this Menu Item Lock Up. And I will hit Return. Now, that I have that group well named. I, am, I will come to the right menu and I'm going to convert it as a component. Make component. I can see that it's a component because it's got that solid diamond. Now, when I come back over in the panel here on the lower left, Come back to the Libraries panel. I see uh, at the top of my Components section, there's my new menu item lockup. Perfect. What I want to do next now is bring it down into my design here. And start working with it. So I'll go ahead and stick with this main component. It could be an instance, but main is pretty good. I'll get it into position here. Now that I see it in context with the example above, I'll probably double click on the title chair and use that keyboard and arrow 
the right arrow, I'll go ahead and move it out just a couple pixels. And it lined up a bit better. Well, now that I have that individual label set, I want to duplicate it down the page. Fastest way to do that, usually depending on what I got going on, is using repeat grid. So I'll come in and select that component that I defined. In the properties inspector, I'm going to click on repeat grid to enable that. Notice I got the handles on the right and below. I want to press and drag until I have four items. They're not exactly lined up top to bottom, so let me check that really quickly. I've got the ability to put guys here. Let's see this measurement. It's hitting about uh, 120. So I want to bring it down to the same position, let's say 120. And now I'll go ahead and move this object down. I can hide these guys and just drag them back off when I'm done. That looks pretty good. I want to also line up the bottom a bit. I think need this to be about there. Give that as a guide. When I come back to my repeat grid, remember I can move in and change the spacing between items by just rolling over the grid until I see the pink highlight. And then I can press and drag to extend that out. So it's a bit taller. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my guy. At this point, I'm ready to start varying things. So there's a couple ways I could do that. What I want to do is just go ahead and break apart the script to start making some changes. So with the, it selected here in the Properties Inspector, I'm going to ungroup the grid. When I do so, I still have these individual instance of components. I just sort of bulk process or make a list very quickly using that repeat grid feature. I want to come in now and change out the labels. So for that, I'll double click on the object, double click a second time to select the text and I will change that out. I'll do that for the additional items as well. Great. That looks pretty good. So that at that point, I have a nice list, but my icons are all the same. 
One of the feature XD offers is the ability to swap components. Once you place a component within a group. For that, I'm going to go ahead and move up so I can see things a bit more clearly. As I mentioned, I've placed the components for the icons here towards the top. They're in the top artboard. But they're also here in the library here towards the left. When you're swapping components for one another, you have to drag the component out of the library. Onto the component that you're changing in order for it to work. So for sofas here, I want to have the sofa icon instead of the chair. With it selected, I'll come here in the component area. I'm going to press and drag onto another icon, the sofa icon. Now, as I do so, notice when I get uh, on top of the selected component, it highlights in blue. That allows me then release and replace the icon one with another. Pretty slick. I'll go ahead and do that a couple more times. We'll grab the table, replace it. And for lighting, I want to do it one more time as well. Terrific. Now, the good news is because these are instances of a main component. Remember how we made this a main component and then we duplicated down the canvas because they are instances. I can go back to the main component and make global changes. So if I want to get back to that main component, Notice that this one's an instance too. I'm kind of lost track of where the main one went, to be honest. What I'll do is go ahead and move this up on the canvas just a bit more. And then I'm going to right click in the menu. I want to find that main component. If it's anywhere uh, in the design canvas, XD is going to take me there. If it got deleted from the design canvas, XD is going to create a new one that I can work with. When I click on Edit Main Component, indeed, I must have deleted, deleted it along the way. So it's just created another one for me. I want to come here to that main component and just make a change to it. So I can do it up here in the corner. I feel, I'm feeling like this space is too great between the icon and the label. because I nested the component inside of a parent component. I still have the ability to make that global change. So I'm going to click on the label here, make sure it's selected. And again, I'm using the keyboard arrow key to make a subtle spacing change. 
I'm just going to move it to the left. Notice on the left, on the design canvas, how the can changes I am making. To the left and right here are propagating to all insta instances of that component. Even though I'm gone in and changed the other component that was nested alongside of the label. 